All right, let's begin. Meet Austin Powers, oh. this is movie. He's chagadelic, hip and groovy. His teeth are bad, he's a little skittish. That oh. he is cool and British. He's the coolest spy in history. The international oh. man of mystery. Danger's my middle name. Austin Powers. There's nothing more pathetic than an aging hipster. Austin Powers! Shag baby, that's his bad baby on the stars, baby, yeah. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, premieres May 23rd at 8 p.m. on Star's Saturday opening night. Oh, behave. Introducing. That's Lucy. She's on television. No, it's Lucy Vision. Ay, ay, ay. 13 hours of marathon madness featuring. Uh. And, and of course, lots of. You cannot be in the show. Oh, Ricky. The I Love Lucy New Year's Marathon. Friday, January 2nd, beginning at 8 a.m. on Hallmark Channel. Roy Munson, preparing to bowl, looks a little nervous. That's right, Roger. The crowd's getting to him, and he hasn't bowled a major tournament in years. Well, let's not forget what he went through to get here, Jim. Oh, absolutely. A promising rookie several years ago. He got his hand ground up in an unfortunate ball return accident. Oh, that had to hurt. Oh, yes. And recently, we understand he was punched in the stomach, Ooh. kicked in the groin, ah. forced to have sex with his landlord, mm -hmm. and spent time impersonating the Amish. Huh. Well, I can understand his trepidation, but it looks like he's going to go for it. Yes, he's very determined. And there he goes. I don't believe it! His hands come right off with the ball! Wow, look at that. Bad luck. But it's a strike. Unbelievable. Oh, 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 oh wow, the crowd is just loving it. You know, with men, there's always a, there's a choice. It's just a really weak selection. You put in a personal ad for me? If you're not going to help yourself, I feel, as your mother... As my mother, as my as my pimp is more like it. No straight guy in his right mind would blow off a woman like you. You're the most beguiling woman I've ever met. What's your name, gorgeous? You're a very attractive woman. I'm lucky, you know, because I have more than determination. I have determination plus talent, plus, like, a natural intelligence. And then sort of a street savvy. Just like the expression, uh, consistency is the hobgoblin. Consistency? Consistency is the hobgoblin of little minds. You're starting to glaze over. I see it. Don't worry. It happens all the time. I'm not offended. I'll tell you why. It's because most people are blind to the impact that small rubber parts have in their daily lives. Next stop, Wonderland. Hello. Listen carefully. Time is precious. What say we get together and do this? What do you think? He died very quietly. I agree completely. These sleuths will solve the crime in record time. I'm certainly going to try. On Crime Time Sunday, every Sunday starting at noon on Hallmark Channel. This is a Stars Family News Brief. In 1962, due to a freak accident, the Weber family of Los Angeles, California, submerged deep into their bomb shelter where they would stay for the next 35 years. During this time, they danced. Prayed. Learn German. Haben Sie etwas? <laughs> and drank hot Dr. Pepper in preparation for the day they would emerge from their isolation to once again live among the people of the world. That day is almost here. Stay tuned to Star's Family for further developments. Kirk versus Picard. Who's the better captain? Fire, Fire point blank. blank. You'll be the judge. Fire Kirk has more hair. Objection. <laughs> Picard is calm and logical. Proceed with caution. Oh! Picard likes to read. Kirk prefers the space chicks. Extremely interesting. The Battle of the Cosmic Captains. Star Trek The Next Generation at 5. And the original Star Trek at 6. Today on Denver's 2. Encore presents Movie Laws. Law number 9. In movies, you don't have to wait for things. Hailing a taxi is easy and quick. Often there's one waiting right there for you. Phone calls are answered right away. 
window. You never have to wait for a table at a restaurant. Just tip the maitre d' and walk right in. And in a ballpark with thousands of people, there's no lines at the concession stand. How convenient. Movie laws, because movies have rules. See Jerry. See Jerry run. Run, Jerry, run. See him laugh. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> and, well, we're not sure what he's doing here, but it's all part of our special Family Treasures in March. Entertainment has come to you. A side-splitting 10-movie marathon to celebrate the 75th birthday of Jerry Lewis. Oh, no! Oh, yes! See Jerry with Dean Martin. The Tough Jerry, the Romantic Jerry, the Suave Jerry. Hey, you're cookie. Each film packed with the... <laughs> you've come to expect from a comedy legend. So join Star's family for a very, very Jerry time. Okay, wise Acer. Of Family Treasures Jerry Lewis Movie Marathon. Friday on Star's Family. Santa will be here real soon, kids, real soon. He's jolly. Santa? Yeah, I'm Santa. He has a way with kids. Let's tell him what you want for Christmas. I'm on my lost right, okay? And loves spreading joy. Oh, no. There's something about the guy that makes me uneasy. Billy Bob Thornton. Probably shouldn't be digging in you. Bad Santa. You're an asshole, you know it? Tonight at 9 on the Star's Saturday premiere. Hello, everybody. I'm your old pal, Greg Proust. You may know me best from Whose Line Is It Anyway, where I'm not the tall guy, the bald guy, or the black guy. I uh, was kidnapped by a group of improv gypsies as a child, and uh, we did a tour around uh, Central Europe. I was in college at San Francisco State University, and there was a group that played in the dormitory there. And uh, they had an audience spot where they'd bring someone out of the crowd. And I watched it one week, and I thought, I can do this. God damn it with the phone. It's a particular skill, uh, and I'm not saying it's difficult, I'm just saying it's it's a particular skill. There are improvisers who don't do stand-up, and there are stand-ups who don't do improv, and it's probably just as well. Improv is the river. It's ever-flowing, you dip into it, you come out of it, you're in a band. Uh, for me, stand-up is the laser beam, and uh, I get to say exactly what I want and express my opinion in stand-up, which you don't get to do, you're not allowed that latitude in improv, because you have a group and you have to serve the muse. Whose Line Is It Anyway has been the luckiest thing that ever happened to me. I, I was a stand-up before Whose Line Is It Anyway. All I ever wanted to do was tell jokes. I wasn't even doing a lot of improv at the time when I got on the show. Meeting Ryan Stiles, getting on the British Whose Line, and meeting Drew Carey have been the most amazing things in my life. Hey, Cindy with the singing. It's a happy club. People get up in the morning and sing here. Comedy works.